Hey folks, my name is Jason Carr. Welcome back to the channel. I'm looking for one of you guys to come up with a graphic design or a graphic intro to this channel or a musical intro to this channel. Why? Because I want to step up my game a little bit with this, uh, with this vlog that I do and I want your help. And I'll remind you guys again at the end of this video. It's reviews day, so stay tuned. So guys, I do apologize for not getting a poll up on Instagram and Facebook for you guys to choose which reviewed car you want to see this week. So I took it upon myself and we're going to review the 2014 Chevy Cruze. So we're just going to move it over in front of the building over here so that we can get some better shots. So there you have it folks, that is the exterior and interior view of our 2014 Chevy Cruze LT with a six-speed manual. This car only has 70,000 kilometers on it, four brand new tires, a bug deflector, and licensed and inspected until April of 2019. Now this Chevy Cruze is optioned out very similar to the Chevy Cruze Eco Edition. With the six-speed transmission and the sunroof, there are a couple of things that this vehicle doesn't have such as the 17 inch aluminum wheels, the upgraded interior, and the MyLink infotainment center. In most cases, a black car is very unforgiving when it comes to scratches. This Chevy Cruze is a little bit of an exception. The paint is in very good condition, and as far as dents or dings on the car, we do have a broken license plate frame, a small little door ding in the left rear fender, as well as some very minor scuffing going into the trunk. The interior of the car is rather clean. There is no stains or marks on any of the interior. And something unique about these Chevy Cruises when they first come out is you'll notice along the stack of buttons here for your power windows and your rear view mirrors, there is no lock button. And the reason for that is they've put it in the center stack, easily accessible for both driver and passenger. In the more later models, they did change that to a button over here with your power windows. This car does come equipped with satellite radio and the air conditioning does blow cold. When we come to the steering wheel, you're going to have your cruise control on this side as well as your radio controls and Bluetooth controls on this side. When we look into the center computer, you'll also notice that it has a digital speed readout. The amount of fuel used, a trip timer, navigation, your on-screen speed, distance to empty, and average fuel economy, and back to your trip meter, one and two. You do have the option to switch from metric to standard. You can read your battery voltage, as well as your remaining oil life. Auto headlights so you don't have to worry about it, as well as intermittent wipers. 
This car does come with two keys with remote, and as you noticed earlier, it has a sunroof. It has dual driver and passenger vanity mirrors, as well as OnStar equipped on all GM vehicles. Now you've heard me say in the past that I'm six foot two, and most small vehicles I can get in and out of very easily without having to worry about not being comfortable. The Chevy Cruze is no exception to that. I find I can get very comfortable in this car. One thing I do find is that the back seat for a full grown adult is not very comfortable. As you can see, I have to spread my legs open just to get them around the seat here because this seat is set for the six foot two guy. However, for your back seat passengers, you do have a 12 volt outlet as well as cup holders. Now when I say the back seat isn't very comfortable for me, again, that's just me. If you're a family and you've got car seats, there's still plenty of room back there as well as for young children. And this car being an LT1, it does come with the upgraded Pioneer sound system. So now it's time for a test drive. So I'm going to mount the camera so that I can shift and drive and we'll go on a road test. Safety first. So one of the first things that I will notice about the Chevy Cruze is the shifting. Uh, I've never driven much as far as exotic or luxury vehicles with a manual transmission, but I can only assume they work every bit as good as the Chevy Cruze shifter. Very smooth, it's not hard to find the gears. And one thing that I've always said about a six-speed manual transmission, unless you've got about five to 700 horsepower, I'm still not convinced that you need six gears. Well, these Chevy Cruises are a turbo, or at least this one is, and the power just isn't there to accommodate having to have that six gear. Five certainly would have been enough. Having said that, again, it does shift and work flawlessly. I just don't like shifting. Now we're gonna try the cruise control, make sure the cruise control works on this car. Click the switch to on and pull down on the little rocker. The cruise is set to 87 kilometers an hour. And we'll bump the accelerate button to see if the acceleration works. And it bumped up to 89. We're fine, cruise control works. No surprise there. Like I mentioned earlier, the AC is blowing nice and cold. So once I get turned around here, we'll try a hard brake as well as a quick acceleration just to see how well and how good this 1.4 turbo really does work. So we're doing about 100 kilometers an hour and I'm going to slam on the brakes right now. ABS kicks in, the brakes are right there. Super smooth. Probably heard the brakes squeal a little bit. Super smooth, which means if it didn't get new brake rotors when we bought the car, we at least serviced them and make sure that it was ready for the road. So now, we're gonna do a quick acceleration through the gears. Whoops. Again, definitely not overburdened with power. But probably the smoothest shifting vehicle I've ever driven. And probably my favorite part of any newer vehicle is the satellite radio, which you get free for 90 days. And just like the sign says, folks, every vehicle on our lot right now is on an end of summer clearance, so no reasonable offer will be refused. Stop in today and check out this 2014 Chevy Cruze LT1 with the sunroof, with four brand new tires, fully inspected and licensed till April. It could be yours. The price is $12,995. And as always, we're offering you a 90-day warranty. That'll do it for this Tuesday Reviews Day on this 2014 Chevy Cruze LT. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm looking for one of you, one of my subscribers, to reach out and see if you can create me an intro graphic or intro music for all my videos. If you do, there's a prize and 100% of the credit. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead right now and hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Remember to stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you. God bless. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.
about it.